Welcome back to Online Physical Education. Again, we are focusing on yoga. All right, you guys, welcome back to day two of our yoga unit. And we are going to do some more poses today that are just a little bit more difficult than day one, but we're still going to flow through them together. All right, you guys, again, make sure you have space to do these poses and make sure that you're on a soft but not too soft surface, okay? Um, last lesson, uh, day one, I emphasized that you wanted a soft surface like either carpet or a mat. Uh, what I forgot to say is you don't want it too soft, so you don't want to do these poses on like a bed, okay? So choose a surface that's not too hard, not too soft, but something comfortable for your body and your feet. All right, here we go. This pose is called Mountain Pose. You are standing nice and tall. Your feet are grounded. Your back is straight. Your hands are out and your fingers are stretched. Eyes are closed, breathing in your nose and out your mouth. This pose is called Warrior One. Take a step apart and adjust as needed. One foot is pointing forward and the other foot is pointing to the side, bending into the knee of the foot that's pointing to the side. Take your hands and also reaching to the side, turning your body facing to the side that your toes are pointing and reaching up high to the sky, straight up, straight back, strong and balanced. When you are done holding this side for about 20 seconds or so, simply switch sides by pivoting one foot, pointing forward, and the other foot pointing to the side. Same thing, rotate your shoulders so you are facing in the direction that your foot is pointing, reaching up high to the sky. This pose is called Reverse Warrior. Just like you did Warrior One, get into your position with one foot facing forward and one foot pointing to the side. Reach up to the sky and then lengthen your arms forward and backwards and then lift up to the sky with the hand that's pointing forward. You can reach your hand behind you or reaching down along your leg. Once you hold this pose for about 20 or 30 seconds, switching sides just like the other warrior, facing the other direction, reach up high, lengthen your arms, and then reverse your warrior by turning your palm to the sky, reaching up high. You may wrap your hand behind your back, or again, reach down along your leg, holding the pose on this side for the same amount of time. This is called tree pose. You may put your foot all the way up to your thigh, but if that's too difficult, you can adjust by placing it on your calf or simply your heel on top of your foot. Whatever is comfortable for you. Once you have your grounding and you are stable, reach your hands up to the sky. You can keep your hands there or you can bring them in to your heart center. Holding this pose, breathing in your nose and out your mouth. As always, you do it on both sides. Same thing, you can place your heel on your foot, a little higher onto your calf, or above your knee, placing it onto your thigh. Once you are centered and balanced, reach your hands up to the sky. You may also bring it in again on this side, placing your hands together to your heart center, holding this pose. This last pose is down back on the ground. This is called turtle pose. Make your legs into a V, reaching up for length and then 
hinging forward at your waist, reaching towards your toes. Now you can keep a hold of your toes or you can make this pose a little deeper by bending your knees and reaching up underneath your calves. Bending at your waist as low as you can, breathing in your nose and out your mouth. You can adjust as needed. All right, boys and girls, thank you so much for joining us this week as we did some more yoga poses and focused on our balance, our strength, our concentration and focus, and relaxing inside and making sure that we are focused and centered. Super job, you guys. Have a great rest of your week. Keep up the good work, boys and girls, and remember, Yoga is a practice. It is something that you constantly practice and constantly improve on. Great job and see you next week.